Okay, the next step is to actually create a mail merge and how to do that with Google Sheets and a Google Doc. So I've created this Google Doc, um, not a sim submitting attendance is the title. I've created a little document here and in this bold part is where I would like to have the student name embedded. All right, this is just um, to help make it a little bit more personal and make it feel like I'm sending it to you and not just a blanket statement to, to everybody. Now, student name isn't gonna do anything right now, and um, what I need to have there instead of student name is if I go back to the data, is I'd like to have their first name. So what I generally do is copy and paste because uh, spelling definitely counts here, and in order to fill that in, I need two uh, less than signs, first name, So once I have this document ready, um, I would wanna refer back to my attendance document and see who has and hasn't submitted their attendance this week. And if I go back to my student spring data, I'm gonna want a column here that will be able to, to or be able to tell the program that these students, I wanna send emails to these students, but not other students. Cause sometimes you wanna to send to everybody, but not all of the time. So in this column, I'm gonna write, um, and we'll leave it at that, all right? And later on, I can go through and I can pick, or actually, let's go there now. So I'm just going to click on a new sheet and uh, learn at home attendance. So for this class here, I'm going to, or I see that these students haven't logged in and I'm going to just select and paste into into there. Um, yeah, right class, all good. So it could be any value in there. I just have a zero in there for now. So to get AutoCAD to work, uh, we're going to want to uh, make sure that we've added it on. So under um, get add-ons, we're going to come here and search for Auto, AutoCAD if you don't have it. And uh, you can see it's here. There are other mail merge ones, but for this tutorial, I'm just looking at AutoCAD and it's actually got uh, a pretty good rating and a lot of, a lot of downloads. So uh, once I have it installed, I'm going to go to run it and launch. We're gonna create a new job and I will call this attendance check-in. This will then just some, or, uh, step us through. Um, we're looking for a template. You can create one or use the one that I've already done. And because it was the last thing I had opened in um, my Google Drive, it should be the for one of the ones that pops up here right away. So we're gonna select it and go to next. In here, it gives you an option to select different worksheets. I'm gonna use a student info one. Um, my header row is where uh, my tags are. So the first name is what appears in my document and then it's gonna link to um, this column or this column in, in my document. I could change it if I made a typo or a spelling, but we're gonna keep it with first name. And next. My file name, I like to use a student's name as the file name, so I'm gonna say last name and paste in there. So by just clicking on it, so if I wanted a first name after that, I could click and paste. I prefer to use a Google, or sorry, a PDF over a Google Doc. Next, um, destination folder. In your Google Drive, you may wanna set up a temporary folder. I have one for email tracking and I'm just going to use that, so um, select. But again, if you went to your Google Drive first and made a new folder, you could select that one. Uh, we'll skip that for now. We don't need any dynamic references. Step seven, the merge condition. So this is the one I find most important when it comes to uh, emailing certain students versus other students is I'm gonna add a cond condition here that I'm gonna select the column, so not attending is not null. So I could say equals zero. I could not null though, um, just means that that is not empty. 
So if it equals zero, it's going to send this out. So I want to send this doc as a PDF to people. And this is the best part because this is what saves you all the time from copying and pasting parents' email addresses and students' email addresses. Um, so right here, I want to send this to the students. So I scroll all the way down. Rem remembering that email is just a student's email. I can paste it in here. If I want to send it to parents, I can come down and um, email one and paste in there. If you use a comma, you can add additional emails. So email two and paste in there. If I had added in my document another column with guidance counselor, I could have copy and pasted the guidance counselor's emails into um, my reply to you. Just make sure you've typed in your email address properly or our parents will uh, send messages to, to nowhere. And then in here, you can type in your subjects. Um, so I can say hi and then use the student's name. So hi, first name. So you can write whatever you want in this part. Sometimes I copy and paste what is in the attached document. So I could copy and paste this. Now the chart isn't going to pop out right, um, but I've done that before and click next. So for here you want to, you don't want to run it from a trigger because that will just be a time thing and click save. So um, before I do this, I might want to try or before you do this, you might want to try. So I'm just going to click in and insert one line above um, because I don't want to send this out right now. I'm going to put in um, my kid's work name and I'll actually come back here and take out all these because I don't want to send that message out to those students yet today. And so right now, I just have one, I have it emailing myself and I'm going to now run this job. So this job will sit here and it can be run today. It can be run tomorrow. Um, I can change the Q column here, the not attending column to be whatever. And every time I click trigger, it's going to run that attendance job. Starts the merge sequence. And if I look over here in my document, it's a, uh, Starting one row will be merged, which is great. Um, you can see here at the top of my document that the document was successful, successfully created a PDF. It sent it to my email address and it was run by me and it's timestamped right now. So if I go into my, my mail, I just received this message. Um, Hi Derek, please see the attached document. If you have any questions, mail me. And in there is this, I'm reaching out to you out because Derek has not responded to this link and it's all set up there. If you have any questions, please send me a message.